2015. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here in amazing Brooklyn, New York. I haven't got a chance to explore Brooklyn much, but while I was here, I was inspired by the backdrop. And uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things I do for activation of the lateral hip. Now you'll see in one of the other duly noted videos about the gluteus medius activation. And uh, I wanted to show you a variation that you can do while standing on a ledge. Um, a lot of people have trouble getting this lateral shift. They'll use the lumbar spine to do it, and they'll chew up their low backs. If you start trading hip movement for low back movement, you end up with things like disc herniations. You end up with a lot of back pain and back trouble and back structural change. Your hip is a ball and socket joint. It's meant to move in three different planes of movement, triaxial movement. This focuses on the coronal plane, which is side to side. Put your hands on your hips and then try to lock down your lumbar spine and give yourself a little bit of an abdominal brace. Get that brace going and see if you can just move the hips without moving the rib cage and without moving the lumbar spine. It's actually quite difficult for most people to do that. Once you feel like you have that movement down, you can start to try to open up the hips. It feels amazing. What you can do is, uh, first you can do it uh, with both feet planted if you feel more comfortable, but as you grow a little bit more uh, stable, what you can do is have one foot hanging off and start to activate. With one hand, you can feel your abs activate. With the other hand, you can feel lateral hip movement. This makes some of my patients so sore after they do it that they have trouble walking a little bit. <laughs> so I have to ease them in with low repetition. So don't underestimate the power of this drill. A little bit of knee valgosity is welcome here. Valgosity is not a bad thing as long as it's supported in a proper range. So if the knee is tracking over the second toe-ish, you're good to go. Don't push the knee out on this. Not the proper cue for this particular drill. So as long as the knee is tracking inward along with the foot and you're moving through the ankle, that's welcome. And if you're feeling this in the lateral hip, you're doing it great. If you're feeling it in your back, you're not locked down enough in the abdomen. Try this drill. It's fantastic for getting that activation you'll need during a bed press when you're trying to open up the hip, for you to turn. It's also very good for the windmill when you're having um, if you're having trouble trying to get the weight shifted into the back hip on the windmill. That lateral hip activation is extremely helpful. Check this video out, try it out, and give us some feedback. Dr. Kathy Dilly, I'll see you next time.